Greetings, everyone. My name is Sanjeev Venkatram, and welcome to another edition of User Delight with Microsoft Technology. In this case, we'll use dynamic selection of measures in Power BI inside visuals to change views on the fly. Let's see how in Power BI. Thank you very much. Okay, so here we are in Power BI, and essentially what we are doing here is if I were to select metrics here like expenses or profit, the chart here dynamically actually changes and shows you the right metrics, right? So that's what we're actually trying to design. Now, what we do here in the first instance is to get this uh, slicer by metric, we head on over to our uh, Power Query, and in Power Query, we create a table called Master Views in which we actually go in and literally enter our metrics. So if I double click on source here, this comes up with a uh, table that I can literally hand enter. So I can go in and actually like define a metric, like let us say year on year growth, by, by year, so on and so forth. I could literally go in and define a, a, a slew of uh, metrics that I want. I'm gonna delete this guess I actually have one already, right? So once I actually define that, and I'm gonna go back in again, that was a little too quick. So I define this, I've got my other transaction tables and, and, and my uh, master tables over here, but I'm gonna close, I'm gonna close this. I'm not gonna apply it because I've already done so. So now if I were to go to my uh, model view, you see that this particular master views uh, table is a standalone table. It's just by itself, it's not doing anything. Now what I do is in my measures down here, I've got a few measures and sales. I've got sales and then I've got the uh, Kager, the compounded annual growth rate dollars. I've got expenses. Where are my expenses? In margin, right? So I've got my um, expense, I've got my profits, so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go create a uh, measure called as views over here, right? I'm gonna select a measure called views, and in this one, I'm gonna use what is called as a switch statement. But before I do that, I actually create another measure over here, which basically is gonna to go to master views and then sum up the index, right? So to just to jog your memory, if I were to go to master views here, I have a table in which I have the metrics and I've got the index, and I'm basically just summing up the index here in this selector, right? In this measure called selector, I'm, in, I'm summing up the index column for master views, okay? Then in the views measure here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a switch statement. What am I going to switch? I'm gonna switch the selector here, the value of the selector. Now, if the value is one, so I'm gonna use a shift enter, maybe control enter here, alt enter once again now. Let me go back here. So if the value of V selector here is one, give me the measure called ACRA sales, right? If it is actually two, then give, re act, give me ACRA expense, and if it is three, give me ACRA profit, right? So depending on what I select as the value of the selector, if it is one, it's, it gives me the measure called sales. If it is two, it gives me expense, and three, if it is profit, okay? So I create this particular measure. Once I create the measure, I do a couple things. One, literally add a column chart over here like so and in the column chart I take the views and I populate the uh, y-axis with views right the x-axis I can have anything I have here in this case I could have countries so on and so forth once I have this then I go in and I add a slicer like so right I literally add a slicer whoops I didn't want to do that let me just undo this so I just add a slicer like so a slicer and in this particular slicer I go in and I literally get my metrics right so I go to master views and I go to metrics and I just add the metrics like so so as you can see you get sales by year because it's actually selected here but then you get the point I get all my metrics here and now when I go select a particular metric it goes away and using the switch statement switches the index corresponding to profit by year which is three and hence it actually brings the profit by year or the profit measure into the chart and shows me my profit, okay? 
So that's how dynamically I'm able to change the, um, the, the charts based on what I select as an index and in the background, what I actually select basically as the metric, okay? Thank you very much, folks. Hope this comes in handy. Cheers.